Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Hmm, no language barrier here. At least not according to Brooklyn, Wisconsin's Mike Schmudlack. And he ought to know, he's got a whole collection of farmalls. French farmalls. This is a collection of French cubs that were built in, in, in France. And though Mike's not much for parlez-vous in Francais, there's nothing much he likes better than grabbing a buddy and taking a spin on a couple of these little red French farmall cubs. Well, I guess my friend uh, Leon Walker, he'll drive his uh, French super cub and I'll take my uh, French cub and we'll go for a little drive in the country. How did a boy from southern Wisconsin get involved with tractors half a world away in France? I have a friend who works in a dealership in uh, Wisconsin and he sells a lot of parts to the French and the Germans and the Dutch guys for the American tractors that went to Europe over on the Marshall Plan. Yes, it was thanks to the Marshall Plan and its mission to rebuild post-war Europe that boatloads of new all-American tractors first made their way across the Atlantic Ocean and into the fields of France, Germany, and other war-torn European countries. All the tractor companies, some of Minneapolis, Moline, John Deere, but International Harvester sent a lot of tractors over in the Marshall Plan, a lot of H's, M's, A's, C's, and um, so a lot of American tractors ended up in Europe. Eventually, American tractor companies built factories on European soil, but at first it was just for the assembly of parts made in the United States. This little uh, French cub is actually, the main part of the tractor is built with American parts, but assembled in France. And then later on, the French uh, started casting their own parts after the factories were up and going. Mike got hooked up with some European collectors, including one whose family has owned a tractor dealership in France since early in the 1900s. And through him, I've gotten to know more and more of the French tractors, and, the, and um, they're unique. And that's kind of kind of why I like them, because they are different. That's right, folks. Vive la différence. One thing that's, that people can really notice on these cubs is on a regular cub, they have the firing order, and it's, and it's written firing order on the block. Well, here it's in French. It says Alimage for, in French and for firing order. That's just one of many words you may not recognize on a French Farmall cub. They do have a certain uh, different lights on them in France. And in France, they require them to have the yellow bulbs in the lenses. And these are quite a bright light on the road. Besides the, the bulbs, the yellow bulbs and stuff, they, they have, all have horns on them. <coughs> for uh, warning, because these are a road vehicle. They're uh, considered an automobile. These have a little more RPMs, so or a little more horsepower than an American uh, Cub. They have um, a Solex carburetor that gives them more horsepower than, than the IH carburetor. The Super Cubs are also different because they have a different uh, seat, and they have a foot throttle on them, which is different. None of the American Cubs had a foot throttle. There is one more difference, Mike has noticed, between the typical French Farmall and its American counterpart. It seems most of the tractors I've seen in Europe on farms were kept a little better because they only had one tractor and it was part of the family. It was always put inside at night. One of the Super Cubs that we saw earlier today has the original decals and that tractor was built in 58 and, it, and it's, it's in great shape because they only had one they took, took good care of them. Boy, all this driving sure makes a guy thirsty. If I was a Frenchman in France, I'd probably be having a little glass of wine or champagne right now. And finally, we leave you with one more Red Power foreign language lesson. Now, we all know what French for farmall is. Farmall. But how about what's French for cub, as in farmall cub? Actually, they call them coub, les coub. The French do. And les super coub. Bon voyage!